Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from episode 14 of this Let's Play Hearthstone series. In the previous episode, we played our very first arena draft and it was freaking awesome fun. Although we did get our buttholes handed to us. Although I, I don't think we did too badly for a, a first draft together. And I just want to thank everybody who's been giving me amazing hints and amazing tips in the comment section of the draft videos. Uh, I learned a lot from you guys. I learned a lot about how to evaluate the cards in Hearthstone. And I think when we play our next arena draft, we're going to be able to do much better. However, before we can do that, guys, we need to earn 150 gold so that we can, can participate in an another, another arena draft. So we're going to play a couple of 1v1 PvP battles to earn ourselves a little bit of gold. If we win two more games, uh, we're going to get 40 gold for two more victories, which is so sweet. And uh, if we, we've we got an, a couple of other daily quests over here, but right now I'm focused on the three victory quest. I'm also going to head over to my collection, guys. I want to try and beef up our Cyberdog Hunters deck by getting another explosive trap up in here. And I think we probably have enough cards now from opening packs to go into crafting mode. We haven't used the crafting mode yet, but with the crafting mode, we are actually able to make for ourselves uh, cards that we want to put in our deck. So for example, explosive trap over here, we can make another explosive trap for 40 arcane dust and we need to generate a little bit more arcane dust and the way that we're going to be do that, doing that guys is turning unwanted cards into arcane dust using this disenchant option over here. So why don't we look through our collection and start turning cards that we don't want anymore into arcane dust. I think we want to hang on to deadly shot. That's a pretty good card. Argent Squire, the 1-1 one, one with Divine Shield. You know what? I'm a, I'm a dustify this bad boy, man. Let's turn him into 5 Arcane Dust. Yes, we want to disenchant this card. There we go. We're up to 30 Arcane Dust now. So sweet. Um, and I really like this part of the game. It means that you're, you know, you're able to like turn cards that you don't normally want to use into other cards that you want to use. I think that that's really awesome. I think we've actually got quite a lot of Arcane Dust out of that. Let's have a look, man. Can we just make... Can we make another explosive trap now? Oh! Well, we've got 125 arcane dust right now. We didn't even need to disenchant that 1-1. That one, one, but it's okay. Let's create another explosive trap for us, ourselves. So sweet! There we go. We're down to 85 arcane dust. And that actually means we might be able to make a few more cards for ourselves. Um, let's have a look. What else? We could make another deadly shot. We're kind of running out of space in our inventory though. I don't know what the jazz is going on over here. I guess it means we can we can craft these things now. Let's have a look, man. What else could we make? Oh, these are these are these are cards that we have seen during our draft. So this is pretty sweet, man. Let's see if we can actually find some beasts. Let's sort by beast. Um, see if we can pick up any better beasts for our deck. We've got the 4-2 over here. The Iron Beak Owl is actually really good. We've seen that in, in the drafts that we played. Or in the draft that we played, we saw that the, uh, the Iron Beak Owl is actually really good. Plus, it is a beast. So, I think maybe we want to pick up a couple of these owls. We could pick up a pair of owls. What else could we make? Oh, uh, the Stranglethorn Tiger is pretty decent. We've already got... I, th I don't think we need any uh, more five drop beasts. You know what, guys? I want to make the this Iron Beak Owl. I want to make a couple of these, these guys. I think the Iron Beak Owl has a lot of utility to it, right? I mean, not only is it a, a beast, but it actually silences minions that are, are going to perhaps be quite difficult for us to deal with. So let's have a look. We're going to be dropping a few cards to get these new cards in. Um, I think I'm going to drop the Silverback Patriarch for one Iron Beak Owl. Let's drop, what else can we drop over here? Maybe drop the Bloodfen Raptor for the second Iron Beak Owl. I know the Bloodfen Raptor is good. It's a 3-2. It's got a load of damage to it. But you know what? I think the Iron Beak Owl as a utility creature is just going to be better for us. And what I want to do now is get our other Explosive Trap into, uh, into this deck. Where is that Explosive Trap? Um... Hello? Explosive Trap? Oh, we're only searching for, uh, for beasts at the moment. There we go. We want to get the second explosive trap in here. And I don't know what to drop out of this. We've already dropped tracking down to one and hunter's mark down to one. Um, we could get rid of deadly shot. Although deadly shot is a great catch all. It just catches, uh, you know, a minion that we're unable to deal with. So I kind of like that one. Um, River Crocolisk, I guess. 
is not we could drop down to one swamp ooze let's drop down to one swamp ooze bring in the explosive trap all right i like this we've got a couple utility cards in here tracking helps us to find these cards that we need um and i'm pretty happy with this deck as it is now guys so why don't we head over to the play arena get another opponent under our belt see if we can uh, be done with losing and can actually start winning <laughs> a few games um there's also only 10 days left of the april season so uh in 10 days time we're gonna it's basically gonna reset our ranking which is currently 21 i think i think we're kind of currently level 20 21, and that's going to get reset soon but hopefully we'll be able to play a nice worthy opponent have a great game let's have a look all right we are playing obviously another worthy opponent and our Nexa proponent today is called Geras. nexus and he is a level 20 warrior good luck to you nexus may the heart of the cards be with your bottle all right let's have a look at what we got man we got a tundra rhino over here that's a five mana minion not too great and two multi shots which is pretty decent but i think i want to try get a little bit of early game action i'm gonna throw back the tundra rhino and one of the multi shots we'll hang on to this multi shot and let's see if we can get some early action pick up a tundra rhino once again but that's fine we managed to pick up an explosive trap so i'm happy about that and a kill command is actually pretty decent too so nothing to do on turn one we'll pass the turn next turn we'll drop down the explosive trap if he wants to go all minion cray cray up in here man explosive trap is going to catch his butt all out let's just uh, ding a bit of bells flap a bit of torture i mean uh, what is this a kite <laughs> all right two mana let's drop our explosive trap this seems like a pretty good space to play it now we can just leave it there and not worry about it anymore it's not going to use up our mana um if we had a minion there i think we probably would have paid the minion instead so you know these trap cards are interesting because they make you lose tempo right as soon as you use a trap you use your mana which could have otherwise be spent on a minion um but there is you know a, a potential upside to the trap and that is of course catching out any of his minions but unfortunately in this situation he just uh, attacked us directly with his hero and we didn't manage to take out any of his minions but we've managed to pick ourselves up a starving buzzard which is going to be pretty decent for us i think i probably want to hang on to it now though i want to maximize the use of my mana let's play a razor fen hunter first it isn't a beast so um we're not losing out on the starving buzzard what i like to do is play a beast on the same turn as i play the starving buzzard so that we can get some uh we can get some um, value off the buzzard the turn that we play it if you know what i'm saying but uh he's gonna cleave our minions that's totally cool man still leaves my razor fen hunter alive picked up another kill command which is awesome two damage to the face a please for you sir and i think at this stage we probably want to play we don't have another cheap beast to play to to you know if we picked up a, a crocolisk or something or even an owl we could have played the starving buzzard this turn plus another beast but as we didn't pick up another beast to play i think just to keep up the momentum of damage i'm gonna play the buzzard anyway deal two damage to the face and send the turn back to old nexus over there let's see if he can deal with my two minions next turn we are on five mana which means we can bring forth the tundra rhino giving all of our other beasts charge which is obviously great news uh, by playing the buzzard we've also turned on our kill commands so that's also uh, a good thing to to remember but it looks like oh my goodness that is a good card right there man cheap as chips managed to destroy both of our minions for one mana that is pretty good man and there oh man okay so four three corcron elite with charge in play for old nexus over there that's pretty freaking decent and uh we're gonna have to start thinking about what we can do here now multi shot is gonna potentially take out two of, of his minions but at this stage on five mana do we even want to play the tundra rhino the tundra rhino can attack immediately but it's not actually going to be very effective here what i think i want to do is play uh misha hopefully play misha let's see if we can get uh misha in play yes we did okay that's that's perfect so misha's going to trade with the uh the corcron elite we're going to de deal two damage to the face past the turn now if he doesn't want to attack misha or, or has another way to deal with misha hopefully that'll trap him into playing another minion and then multi-shot is really going to uh, do very well next turn all right here we go man he is dropping all types of minions down here what is this thing a young priestess at the end of your turn give one of your friendly minion random friendly minion plus one health okay that's pretty decent all right so explosive shot is going to be pretty decent here it's going to take out his two one 
um, which is growing his Senjin Shield Master by quite a lot. So I think it's probably it's probably wise for us to take this thing out. So let's multi shot, get full value from our multi shot. Pretty happy with that. And um, I think we'll just deal two damage to the face past the turn. Gonna take three next turn from the Shield Master, but that's not the end of the world. Potentially can use Kill Command next turn if we really have to. Uh, or we can just drop our Core Hound also. Oh my goodness, man. How good is that spell? Plus three, plus three. Woo, man. All right, things are getting kind of beastly around here now, guys. All right, let's see. What can we actually do here to stem the tide of this pain that's coming in? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any taunt action going on over here. We might just need to... Hmm. We, I mean, I was thinking about playing the, 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 the Beak Owl and then kill commanding for five, but that's actually not going to kill the, sh the Shield Master. It looks like we're going to have to use both of our kill commands to take out the Shield Master. I mean, I don't think we have much choice here. I mean, we don't have any... Um, hmm. I mean, we could just take... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the Tundra Rhino. Take out the... Must attack the minion with oh yeah, I'm going to play the Tundra Rhino. I'm going to play the Beak Owl. Get rid of taunts on the Shield Master. Take out the 3-1. And if he attacks the, uh, his Shield Master into the Tundra Rhino, then I'm pretty happy about that too. Our Beak Owl also has charge, which is great news. And uh, I think I'm probably just going to send it to the face. Alright, there we go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that turn. Next turn we can definitely deal with the Shield Master, whether with a kill command or an attack. If he attacks one of our minions, that's also fine by me. Alright, so now we've, our, our kill command is now on. In fact, both of our kill commands are on. So, let's take out the Shield Master with the, with the kill command. Let's take out the... Um, what is this guy called again? The Lord of the Arena with our second kill command. Our, uh, our Iron Beak Owl comes straight to the face. I, I want to call this thing a Nantuko Owl from Magic the Gathering. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying, man. It, it looks like the Nantuko Owl. Um, anyway, I think that turn went pretty good, man. His board is cleared of minions. We've got a 2-1 and a 2-3. Alright, not that exciting, to be honest. But, in hand, we've got a 7... A 9-5 beast coming. So, uh, you know, that's some goodness right there. He's just basically gained seven life though so that's kind of annoying um and he's played the stupid patriarch too which is going to kill our owl hmm i mean at this stage we're just going core hound into two damage to the face and i guess we just we got to take out the patriarch man we need to open up the the battlefield for our next turn where we'll be able to attack for 11 plus two from the hero power, so we'll be able, be able to deal 13 damage to his face. But he's coming with those taunters, man. He is coming with those taunters. Draw a card for each damaged... What was that? Draw a card for each damaged friendly character. Man. Oh, if only we had drawn this card uh, before our core hound, but... Our core hound is just going to slap this Fen Creeper upside the head. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is play the Tundra Rhino, play our Animal Companion, let's see what we get. Right, we get a Charging Misha, which is, which is obviously really good. So how can we most effectively deal enough damage here? I think I'm going to send uh, the Misha and the, char the Tundra Rhino at the Fen Creeper. Both of our minions will survive that attack. So let's do that, and then we'll be able to send the Core Hound and the Crocolus straight at his butthole. Bam! Alright, that was an excellent turn. We still have a taunt minion in play, just in case he plays uh, some sort of a, a charge minion, or gives his own hero a ton of damage or something like that. But things are looking good right now. Right, so he whirlwinded there. Which did something to his frothing berserker. Whenever a minion takes damage, gain plus one attack. Alright, so he pumped up his frothing berserker to a 7-3. Whew, man. That is intense. So he's on 14 life. Can we just deal 14 damage? 9, 11, 12, 13, 
14 foot. Yeah, man, we can just we can just go to town on his face. Well played, sir. Oh man, that was actually quite a quite a close game. Um, whew. <laughs> that was an epic victory. Damn. Well played, Nexus. Thank you so much for the game, my friend. And let's have a look. Did we win anything from that? We got one more victory star, it looks like, uh, which is going to get us closer to, to claiming our... Uh... Oh, there we go. We got three wins, baby. That means we get a little pot of gold, man. Ten gold earned. Whew. Wow. Ten gold. Sweet. <laughs> oh, man. But we also won three... Win three games with any class. All right. So we're one victory away from uh, getting a, a, a juicy 40 gold into our bag of gold i guess and that's obviously going to get us much closer to playing our next arena game but that was a freaking sweet victory guys i'm pretty happy with our deck at the moment i think that owl is a really nice uh, addition to our rexar beast deck if you guys have got any suggestions to make our beast deck better you know what to do man hit me up in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it that was a sweet victory and thank you to my opponent for the game we'll see you guys in the next episode it's been ren diggity dog playing hearthstone Bye, my friends!